about the most secure app that you can possibly use for communicating with friends, neighbors, family, and for business. And we're going to be joined right now by the radio audience. Here it goes. Hold on a second. It isn't gone yet. Ah, come on, come on. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Craig Peterson here, WGAN. And uh, online, of course, we're doing a Facebook Live even as we speak. Having a little fun there. That's what the chuckles were all about. Uh, hey, I appreciate you guys joining me. And I know that your time is valuable. And I don't want to waste one minute of it. So I'd love to get your feedback. What do you think of the show? What are the good parts, the bad parts? Uh, what do you want to see more of? What do you want to see less of? Let me know. Just email me, me, at craigpeterson.com. I'd really appreciate it. And make sure that you are on my email list so that you get every week the latest in technology news with, of course, an emphasis, as always from me, on security and what you can and should be doing for security in your home and in your business. You know, I really focus in on business because that's what I've been doing for so many years. You know, most businesses aren't in the cybersecurity business, and so they're trying to make their widgets, provide their service, etc., and they're just left hanging when it comes to the security side, cybersecurity. And I know that's true of you guys too, who are in smaller businesses, even larger businesses and home users. But the answers, the solutions are always the same. Although you don't have as much money to spend, so you're not going to be as well protected, right? You also hopefully don't have as many assets at risk. I know a, a lot of people who are high net worth individuals who come to me in order to get things secured. But uh, as, as a whole, most of the time it's businesses. So that's why I kind of aim at that. And then every month as well, we have a list of the top security vulnerabilities that there are patches out for. Telling you, hey, you need to update this software or that software. Uh, there's various vulnerabilities that you have to take care of immediately. <laughs> Another coughing fit. Man, hope this isn't a sign of something coming down with something. Uh, here's the vulnerabilities you have to take care of right now. These are vulnerabilities that are seen in the wild. We know that these are being exploited. So I work with a number of different organizations, as we mentioned, the FBI, InfraGuard program, the SANS people, uh, NIST, the list goes on and on, Homeland Security, they're all providing information. So I boil it down. There is just too much to keep up with, as I'm sure you can kind of guess, right, surmise. And so I boil that down, put it into one of my newsletters that you'll get for free, and it comes out once a month. And then once you've got that done, uh, you, you know, you, you Katie bar the door, right? Because now you're going to be safe against the worst things that are happening right now. So it's it's really in in not interesting. It's really easy. It's kind of a follow along thing, step by step. So I want to talk about this guy called Marlin Spike. I, I don't know if you've heard of Marlin Spike before. That's one word. It, it's his name. Our Marlin Spike, of course, I know having uh, two kids who are three kids, professional mariners, actually. Uh, that's something that's used is on a knife that is used for weaving the ropes together. It's a little spike. It's called a Marlin Spike. Anyways, this guy launched an app called Signal. And the technology that he used and he developed and then he shared was also used by the WhatsApp people. And of course, WhatsApp now is owned by Facebook. But it's Signal that in that technology that's providing the end-to-end -end encryption for WhatsApp. Now, you know I've talked on the show about what happened with Jeff Bezos and his information getting out and how the Saudi royal family prince was supposedly involved in this. And man, what a nasty mess that all is. The problem was not in this protocol that was developed and released by Mar Marlin Spike. The problem was in the rest of the software that sat on top of it that allowed access to the videos and the photos on 
the phone and also had a bug in the software for some of those videos. So that's where the problem came from. So this guy, Moxie Marlin Spike, how's that for a great name? Kind of reminds me of, uh, who was that guy from New Zealand who had the, um, ah, that website. Ah, I can't remember. Changed his name to .com. Anyhow, uh, Marlin, Moxie Marlin Spike, uh, was on a, an airplane. He was sitting down next to a guy who said he, well, Marlon Spike said that he thought he was Midwestern in his mid-60s. And this guy asked him for help because, you know, what do us guys in the 60s do? We have to ask young kids for help with technology, right? Actually, my case, it's usually the opposite. But anyways, asked him for help. And the guy said he could not figure out how to enable airplane mode on his phone. So Marlon Spike looks at this, Moxie, and, and he thought it was a setup. He thought this, he was being trolled by this guy because right there on this guy's home screen on his phone was Signal. Signal is the number one secure app for sending and receiving messages. And they've added some more features to it recently. I actually haven't used it much for a while. I've been using Apple Messages, which is pretty darn secure, but it's, it's not Signal. And he thought, oh, wait, wait a minute here. I'm being played. He's playing me because he knows who I am. Uh, I'm Moxie Marlin Spike. And, uh, and, and so he was kind of wondering what was going on. But anyways, Marlin Spike, uh, put this whole signal software together some years back, widely considered to be the most secure end-to-end -end encrypted messaging app. It's probably been about five years, and uh, there is now a private foundation that maintains the code and that Moxie's the head of. But it turns out this 60-something guy next to him on the plane didn't actually know any of this stuff and a moxie showed him how to enable right airplane mode he gave him the phone back and he says i try to remember moments like that in building signal marlon spike told wired and this is from a wired interview you see this here in my facebook live i put the link to it right there in the live channel um and uh he says the choices we're making the app we're trying to create it needs to be for the people who don't know how to enable airplane mode on their phone. You know, that's absolutely right. I can see that. Th this all goes back to UI design, right? User interface design. You have to design for the least common denominator. And that's one of the reasons iPhones have been so popular. Steve Jobs just kept going after the designer saying, make it more simple, make it more simple, make it more simple. Think of that first iPod. Could it have been more simple? I had an MP3 player. I still have it. It's like this big. And uh, for those who aren't watching here on, on video on YouTube or on Facebook, it was probably, well, what would you say, six inches long and maybe three or four inches wide and a couple inches thick. And it was absolutely phenomenal. The audio quality was actually better than those original iPods, but it was much more difficult to navigate. And there's so many more things you had to do in order to load it up and make it all work. Steve Jobs just made it simple. I, I really have to emphasize that because if you're a business person, you have to make it easy for people to do business with you. Not like me. I kind of make it hard, right? Uh, but make it easy for people to do business with you. And I'm trying to change that because there's a lot of things I could do to help people out that uh, could actually pay my bills so I'm not worrying about uh, where where my next check's going to come from, right? So five years later, so today, now, Signal is reaching a much, much wider audience. It's reading an, reaching an audience that includes the 60-something-year-olds all the way on through the younger kids. And I got to say, if you need secure messaging, and frankly, that's almost everybody, take a look at Signal. It is free, absolutely free. It is available on iOS, on Android. There are now versions for computers as well. And it lets you talk, on, like on the phone. It lets you do video conversations, share pictures, and of course, text back and forth. It, and it, that just goes to prove that it's really not 
just for privacy diehards or activists because cybersecurity needs to be something that we think about all of the time. It needs to be something foremost in our minds, just like everything else we talked about today. I so hope that you take a few minutes and go through the whole show this week. You should do it every week because I'm always giving you tips and tricks, the tactics of things to do, the strategies of overall what needs to be done out there and some stories related to it so that hopefully you can see how it does apply in your life. And that's why I'm doing more and more of the Facebook Lives and the YouTube Lives and I am putting together these courses. I've got tutorials now that I'm going to be releasing in a couple of weeks that we have spent weeks on. I'm going to do some training, some more webinar training again that we've been spending weeks on because I want you guys to know this stuff, right? You have to know it. I don't want you to lose your businesses. I don't want you to lose your life savings, right? I want you to be able to communicate. I want you to be able to communicate with your families. And you know, what was it? Two weeks ago, I was on the radio with Ken and Matt. I'm on every Wednesday morning at 7.37, 7.38 in the morning during drive time for about half an hour. We talked about security. And I've been talking to Ken and Matt about security now for a year, two years. I'm not sure how long I've been on with at least a couple of years now, maybe even three. And helping them to understand security and what needs to be done. And you know, they ask questions. It's very, very interactive. It's, it's like the whole reason I'm here over on, on Facebook Live. I'm taking questions as we're speaking, as I'm, we're on the radio, because it, it needs to be interactive. So after two years of speaking to them every week about security things, the things to do, and just talking with them two weeks ago about the basics again, getting right down to, are you using password managers? Because I've given out information on them before, free password managers, paid password managers. And the answer from both of them was, no, they're not. And you know, that's one of the most basic things that can be done. So it's obvious to me that we still need to keep talking about this. And I understand how daunting this is. I know you've been lied to. The guys that's selling you the antivirus software are lying to you. The guys that are selling you the VPN services, most of them are misrepresenting or lying to you. Okay, I get it. You've tried things, they haven't worked. But I really want you to know what you need to know, do what you need to do, and be a success, frankly, getting all this together. All right. Hey, thanks for being with me. Make sure you visit me online, craigpeterson.com. Check out the Facebook Lives, the trainings, the tutorials, the courses, the webinars. It's all there. It's all for you. It's all available. Home users through even large businesses. And have a great week. Listening to Craig Peters on a WGAN. All right, everybody. That's the end of the radio stuff. We're going to have to say goodbye. Oh, thanks for the likes, by the way. I appreciate that. Uh, over there on Facebook Live. Do spend a few minutes and find these things. Nice thing about Facebook Live is Facebook keeps them up. And hopefully you'll be able to uh, get, gather the information you need from them. Anyways, have a great week, everybody. And we'll be back with some more next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>